Hello everybody. My name is Victoria Waka and I welcome you to this webinar, Introduction to Crypto Trading Simplified. I hope you're with your jotter and your pen because you're going to learn a whole lot from this webinar. One of the reasons why I, you know, put this webinar together is because I've seen a lot of persons venture into uh, seemingly crypto-related investment without any knowledge or understanding of what cryptocurrency is really about, of without the understanding of what Bitcoin is, really is, without the understanding of what blockchain is. So I put together this webinar to enlighten you, to give you an insight on what exactly is crypto, how exactly can you start trading crypto. So follow me through this ride and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment box. I can see uh, a lot of you are already joining, joining and participating already. At the end of this webinar, you can, you, there will be room for questions and feedback. So, but for now, listen and enjoy the ride. You have a whole lot to learn in this. You have, your eye will be open on what exactly is crypto, what exactly is blockchain, and what exactly is Bitcoin and other kinds of cryptocurrencies. So, uh, here's the outline of what you're going to learn today. You're going to learn what is Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, dealing with your misconception about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, different money-making strategies of crypto, how to start making money from crypto, why you should invest in crypto, risk management of cryptocurrency, portfolio management of cryptocurrency, basic interface of a trading platform, how to take profit, and so much more. So, the COVID-19 pandemic has brought us into a new normal. Really, it has shown us that if you have no idea, if you don't know how to execute the online side of, side of your business, very soon you run out of cash because it has brought in a way for us to work from home, do remote jobs. Before now, in some part of the world like Nigeria, you remove jobs so you're not the thing. People go to offices for jobs and all that. Whereby in some in some parts of the country, there they already practice remote jobs, whereby you can easily work from home. All you have to do is make sure you deliver deliver they don't nobody cares about when you do the job, how you do the job, just deliver the job. So you can wake up early in the morning and do the job, you can do it while you're cooking your food or anything. So the new normal now is working from home. Now, you, could, you, you might think that there's no online side of what you do. The thing is that you've not looked enough. This is a new normal. Whether you like it or not, you need to learn how to make money online. I'm telling you, even in the midst of all this COVID-19 and the coronavirus thingy, people are still making money. People are still buying new cars. People are still building houses. So how are they going about it? There must be something they know that you don't know. And cryptocurrency is one of them. But you have to do the cryptocurrency the right way. You have to do crypto trading the right way. I always advocate for education. I always advocate for education and information. With education and information and the right knowledge, you will go far. You will make it in this cryptocurrency space. You might know a lot of technical mumbo jumbo, but if you don't have the right information, man, you're not going to profit from it. So this new normal has really showed us that the value of being online. You have your business must be online to thrive. Therefore, you have to learn the strategies that can help you either in passive income, either in passive income, or and passive income 
please don't mind the background noise just pay attention to what i'm saying either in a passive income or understand the business side of your business so this is a new normal this is a new normal now what is bitcoin actually and other cryptocurrencies bitcoin is a kind of cryptocurrency in fact it is the first cryptocurrency to exist it was created by a man called satoshi nakamoto in the year 2009 now this this bitcoin came out as as a result of the financial market crash in 2008 slash 2009 people have needed a new way to make money people needed a new way to come out of that crash remember every black swan event every market crash always bet something new people always lose job in market crash look at the impending impending economic crisis globally that people are losing their jobs around the, around the world and at the same time people are getting employed because companies are looking for relevant job relevant skill sets this is time for you to look around you and find out what are the relevant skill sets i can add to what i have what are the re relevant skills that are needful in this time this is not time to start saying expect someone to employ you because of what you think that you have nobody wants to lose money that's the truth nobody wants to lose money every company every platform every organization is looking for ways to maximize profits maximize income make more money so if they feel that you're going to be burdensome to them you don't going to help them make money they will this they will they will remove you from the team they will let you go without a blink because at the end of the day they want to make profit so this is time to look at yourself and, and, and ask yourself what are the skill sets what are the extra things i can do to make money and you've seen now that online is a thing online is the new dawn so bitcoin served this purpose in that year back then Bitcoin was less than a dollar i'm very sure some persons if they have if, if they had looked towards to this day they would have they would have stored up some bitcoin or they wouldn't have spent their bitcoin the way they did but only very few saw into the future and saw the potentials of bitcoin and blockchain technology after bitcoin ethereum ethereum followed and other cryptocurrencies followed now if you visit coinmarketcap.com you will see over 5000 cryptocurrencies already out there they were created after bitcoin each of these cryptocurrencies have one value or the other that they are offering to individuals around the globe so you're looking for the best thing to invest in the best digital asset to the best asset to uh, invest in this period bitcoin is the new gold even in this in this period people that made the best profits are be, we are bitcoin traders i for one it was just profit after profit profit after profit like you just stay in the comfort of your room you just wake up and you check your trade oh wow 50 percent 100 percent 200 percent and you just cash out no stress like in fact the fundamentals that boost cryptocurrencies are far uh even things that you expect that might put it down so bitcoin and very some gem coins coins that i call gem cryptocurrencies are the best digital assets you can ever acquire now so now let's deal with your misconceptions a lot of people persons hear bitcoin and they think it's ponzi or it's a multi-level marketing system it is not bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are not ponzi they're not put 10k get 20k they're not put 10k get 50k they don't what you use 4k and become a millionaire overnight it doesn't happen that way there are strategies to this thing in fact any platform that, that promises you that in the long run you will see the true colors of that platform it's not multi-level marketing there is affiliate system yeah definitely 
exchanges with which are um, online platforms where you can trade buy and sell cryptocurrencies offer affiliate programs but that is not a guarantee that is not that's not a necessary for it's not it's not um vital for you to earn from that platform most level marketing you have to refresh someone and do all those things for you to earn bitcoin and crypto trading are not Ponzi scheme you need basic knowledge of what cryptocurrency is to start please do not venture into what you don't know about that is the beginning of your losing money because a lot of passengers here oh if you put this amount, you get this amount, and they rush into it. They don't even know what Bitcoin is. Ask them to define what Bitcoin is. They have no idea. So persons will even try to define blockchain technology using some sort of um, um, Ponzi scheme they were introduced to. But that's like an insult to a technology as big, as broad as blockchain technology. You need to understand that there are risks involved. That is why we have what we call risk management. There are always risks involved because the market is so volatile. In fact, it's even the volatility of the market that we are where we trade. We trade the volatility of the market. So you need to understand that there are risks involved. So what you should be asking is how do I manage my risk? How do I minimize risk? And how do I maximize profit? This is one of the things that I teach in my platform, on my platform. Because you need to make money but you also need to make make it with minimal risk remember you need to join a dedicated platform that will help you you can easily ask your question and you have someone that will answer you that will guide you properly so you don't get wrecked these platforms the dedicated platforms there are all there are so many of them out there Make sure they are committed to your growth. They are committed to teaching you the what, the where, the where, the what, the why, the where, and the how of cryptocurrency trading, and every other aspect of making profits from cryptocurrency. So this platform sh should be able to keep you updated with opportunities and signals. So what is blockchain technology? Blockchain technology is the intrinsic technology behind bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies blockchain technology is like a database open like it's open to everyone it's publicly owned powered by supercomputers across across the globe every transaction is visible on the network is distributed is decentralized nobody have full control of the network it enables peer-to-peer -peer transactions from one person to the other there is no middleman like the government like the central bank where this is concerned where the blockchain is concerned so this is the technology that will have the greatest impact in this decade so if you're not already keen into this technology there's a whole lot it's more than your trading. In fact, you don't even have to trade to earn from blockchain technology. Cryptocurrency is just one aspect of the blockchain technology. Now look at this. Look at this diagram, for example. This is simply how it works. Mr. A has cryptocurrency and I want to send it to Mr. B. Now Mr. B has what we call a wallet, which is where you can store your cryptocurrency. This transaction appears, is represented like as a block. A block on the network. This block is broadcasted to every party in the network. And they're trying to what they're doing is verifying that it's called it's called nodes nodes. They are verifying that. This transaction, this transaction is legit that where the crypto is coming from there's actually crypto there and where it's going to is compatible with it when they verify it the block joins previous blocks and forms a link with them that is blockchain 
it will a, a chain will, will connect the new block to the already existing blocks and the transaction becomes confirmed now remember there is one feature of blockchain which is immutability a blockchain the blockchain network is immutable that is you cannot reverse any transaction you do on the blockchain network you cannot tamper with it it's fixed it's fixed you can't change it that's one of the ways that one of the reasons why it's very transparent nobody can manipulate the network now this is give you a bigger a bigger uh, view look at it a look at the blockchain technology the blockchain is a decentralized ledger of all transactions across a peer-to-peer -peer network peer-to-peer -peer is peer-to-peer -peer means person to person that is me to you i have one crypto you have your wallet i just send it to you so participants can confirm transaction without the need for a central certifying authority potential applicants include fund transfers selling trades voting and many other uses blockchain technology have lots of uses that we will see later in this webinar and if you look here now someone requests a transaction that is transaction is broadcasted across the network there is a validation the verified transaction can involve anything cryptocurrency contracts records or anything and it now goes to the network and form the block the transaction is confirmed this is simply how the blockchain works now what exactly how did we get to bitcoin how did we get to cryptocurrency how did we get the blockchain technology bitcoin and every other form of cryptocurrency is they are just money evolved money evolved from trade by butter the first form of Sorry, excuse me. The, the first form of exchange to ever exist in the history of money was paid by butter. We buy, I have yam, you have beans, we just exchange. We exchange value for value. What I have and what I don't have. I give you what I have, you give me what you have, and we both gain value. But, but this, this, um, has a limitation. Trade butter has had a limitation. Trade butter had to evolve to gold. Whereby gold was used as payment for goods and services, as payment for anything, as, as an, a way of exchanging value. But there was a challenge. It was bulky to transport. And the, the gold was susceptible to roadside thief, theft and, and um, robbery. So gold evolved to metal coins. And for metal coins, paper money. It was at the point of paper money that it became necessary to have a central authority called the central bank. Because you cannot just, at least from Chile Bata, you can understand, uh, you can understand, I'm giving you beans to get rice in gold. And you can say, oh, please pay me one bar of gold for my services. With coins, this is the number of pieces of coins or calories that you can pay me. But with paper currency, we the government or the countries or the town or whatever it is needed a central kind of money that everybody can use when everybody printed money in their houses and to also regulate the amount that goes that circulates so paper money now came into view we buy a particular valuation was given to a particular paper authorized by the central bank of that government now there can be a need for plastic cards that's ATM cards because everybody can enter to the bank and request for money 2k 1k that kind of amount so they made it very easy that you can use a card to access your funds anywhere instead of always going to the counter to withdraw your money now if you notice as money evolved gradually, it was evolving to solve a particular problem, to ease processes of accessing money and accessing funds. So, it got to electronic money. Now there was globalization, whereby 
if I'm gonna use dollar in Nigeria, how can someone send me dollar as I'm in Nigeria? Because dollar is not my central, is not my central tendency for payment of goods and services in Nigeria. What is what is this naira? How do I receive dollar from USA, for example? So they came in PayPal, Payoneer, Western Union, and all that. This is both like a linkage between countries whereby you can receive payments from across the world. You can send payments from across the world. But this this comes this comes with exorbitant charges. It also has its limitations. Sometimes you use some amount of money and you have to go through queries and permission and uh, economic and financial kind of commission will have to like put it through so many so many tasks just to make sure verify that you are you are legit, you don't do anything fraudulent and stuff. With all this order forms of money evolving over time does not really guarantee you complete financial freedom. That can be cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency, including Bitcoin, is just money evolved from trade by butter up onto a kind of currency that you don't have to see, feel, or touch for it to be able to confer value to you. For you to be able to use it to buy goods and services. So this brings us to the different money making strategies that in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Now note that remember what I said. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are not just some kind of scheme. They are just money that has evolved from the what you can feel and touch to what you you don't have to feel it. You don't have to touch it for it to be able to confer value to you. So now what are the kinds of money making strategies? What kind of money making strategies can you make out of this? We have Bitcoin or fiat trading slash and or fiat trading. We have master nodes and staking. We have Bitcoin mining and initial coin offerings. We have affiliate network and marketing affiliate market network affiliate or network marketing programs. Now I will explain this one by one. Bitcoin or fiat trading. This is the typical interface of Binance. This is one of the exchanges. When you have cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, this is where you can trade. This is one of the places you can trade it to make money. This is what you join platforms like my own to learn how to do. When to enter a trade and when to leave a trade. This is a typical interface. This short. Snapshot was taken when Bitcoin was at nine five thousand dollars, Ethereum, EOS, and BNB. You trade Bitcoin and other kind of cryptocurrencies on an exchange like this to earn to make your money. Now we have we have different kinds of uh, trading. We have. Uh, day trading we have day trading we have short-term trading we have mid-term trading we have long-term trading we have swing trades we have scalping the different kinds, the different kinds of trading the different kinds of trading The day trading, for example, is just like when you start a trade in the morning and you close it during the day and you make profits in between. This doesn't allow you to do anything else. You're just watching your system, trying to take advantage of the best positions during the day. We have short-term trading for like a, a period of expecting profit for a period of a period of one month. Mid-term, two to three months, long-term, up to six months, 12 months. There are coins like that. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency can be a, a way of passive income for you. Like me, I have other things that I do. I have other uh, side, side of my business, side of my value core business. So Bitcoin is just like...
Bitcoin is just like Bitcoin trading or crypto trading is just like a side hustle for me. It's just like a side hustle for me. So which means I don't do the normal um, day trading. I do short term, I do mid term, I do long term trading. Fiat. Now, if you look here now, you see um, Naira, Bitcoin against Naira, Bitcoin against USDT, and this, 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 this. This is trading Bitcoin against what we call fiat. Fiat is your normal currency. One of the good things that Binance did was to integrate our Naira to this exchange so you can trade. You can trade. your bitcoin you can trade your bitcoin and against your fiat against your dollar or against your naira or against any other kind of fiat currencies listed on this exchange remember you, you can't get all these things at your door. You can't get it at a snap of the fingers. It needs interest. You have to have interest in these things. So you can always pursue questions. You can always find out why, asking questions and figuring out how to go about these things. Now, our for making money is master node. What is a master node? Master node is master node coins. They are kind of, they are classifications of coins. But maybe in the next webinar, free webinar that I will hold, I will explain the different classifications of cryptocurrency. Now, there are different cryptocurrencies in the market. Each of them have a function, reason why their creators created them. Bitcoin just has pure currency function. Just serves pure currency function, which means you can only use it to pay for goods and services. Now there are coins that we call master node coins or staking coins. This these cryptocurrencies, you earn when you're holding. All you have to do is just to hold a portion of this cryptocurrency. And you earn, you stick, master not sticking, you, you stick a portion of it, uh, this cryptocurrency. Then, for example, this example I gave here, like this Dash now, for example, you're holding Dash. The more you're holding Dash, the more you're giving support. So you're providing support, providing support to the network. Then the network will, will, will incentivize you with either more of that coin or another coin. Just like um, if you're holding a coin called ONT, you get ONG. If you're getting, uh, if if you're holding, like if you're holding one particular cryptocurrency, they just give you equivalent. Like before Hive was listed on Binance, people people, if you're hold, if you're holding, people that we are holding Steam, S T E E M, made lots of money by and getting Hive for free. They gave them equivalent of the amount of Steam they were holding. So now, what about master nodes is that it requires you to be constantly online and all. That's the different things that's taking. I think with staking, you can just do it and go your way. Master nodes, you, you're giving full support to the, to the network. So you need, it requires electricity and the likes of it. But if you're holding this, all these coins on an exchange, like all the coins that use a consensus mechanism called proof of stake, just holding them, you're not trading them, you're just holding them. It qualifies you to earn another kind of cryptocurrency that you can easily sell. Now, all you did was just to buy this cryptocurrency, and then you earn another kind that you can easily sell and make money out of while you are still holding this other one. So, you need to understand how much percentage you will get, in, how these things work, how this master nose staking works. So, it's an alternative to mining. Mining is a way to generate new bitcoins. And it uses a consensus mechanism called proof of work. Like you work, 
the proof that you worked was is, is what we call a block reward. Then in Master Node Coins, you stick some kind of a quantity of crypto, and the proof of of the staking is you get incentivized with another cryptocurrency or that same cryptocurrency. So this is like a, a Bitcoin mining setup. It requires constant electricity. There are Bitcoin miners across the world. It requires a lot of, a lot of electricity. That is why you can easily do it from this. If you're going to do it to your system, you want to mine with your system and stuff. You have to have a lot of processing power, constant electricity, and the likes. But you can mine other cryptocurrencies like ET, Electronium. You can mine Electronium with your smartphone. With your smartphone, you can easily use it to recharge your phone. Now, this Bitcoin having thing that happened, whereby um, the block reward that miners get is reduced by half. What do I mean by that? Every four years, you know, when um, miners Miners get Bitcoin when they are able to solve, correctly solve a cryptocurrency, um, a complex mathematical algorithm. They are, they are able to solve a, a complex mathematical problem. Whenever they are able to solve it, they get to the, what we call block reward. They get Bitcoin as reward, which is the, uh, goes back into circulation. I know. Now, every four years, as of before this before this halving that happened they were getting um they were getting i think how much safe but well, currently they, they were getting 12.5 12.5 bitcoin as reward remember this reward is like a payment it's just like you're working and you get paid after we are we just please um get work done then after the halving their reward reduced by half so it's like this is 6.25 bitcoin as reward so this to make it very what happens when supply is low and demand is high prices go up because these miners have to be able to afford more electricity to Keep on mining and making sure that Bitcoin goes back into circulation. Have a, a, a bit small. We have um, initial coin offerings. That's another way of making money. This this really reigned in 2018-2019, whereby um, companies or industries or organizations create a cryptocurrency in order to solve a particular problem. This was mostly when some uh, company will try to bring up solution using the blockchain technology. So they create a cryptocurrency and they say this cryptocurrency, this is the problem they going to solve. It's going to be a health coin, a coin that will help process data and store data accurately on the blockchain network. But now they want to raise money, do what we call crowdfunding. If you're into real estate, you understand how uh, crowdfunding. So they, they, they come to the public and say, this is the token or coin that we're working on, we're trying to create. This is what it's going to offer, it's the benefit. If you buy, if you invest in this cryptocurrency now, you give us your money and you get a, a quantity of our cryptocurrency, which we offer you at a very low price now. Eventually, when we're done what we want to do with cryptocurrency and it's ready to launch, on exchanges whereby you can buy and sell them you'll be making double probably up to seven times profits from the money you invested to buy that coin so ICOs initial coin of they're offering their coin before it get it gets launched so you can buy them at cheaper price and when it gets launched you make profit from them now there are legitimate uh, ICOs and they are illegitimate ICOs. Now there's one that's ready now. Initial exchange offerings. It happens on exchanges. For every like Binance, for example, this is a tip that you need to know. Most coins that get listed on 
by NASA exchange. As if you catch the train on time, the exact time it say, they say they said that they will list it. Those coins that get listed on Binance always do 100% from the time of listing and a few minutes after. So you can always make 100% back, uh, 100 back per coin that is listed. After a coin gets listed, it goes up, it starts coming down. If it's a good coin, has potentials, has use cases, it's going to last in the market. If it's not, if it goes that far, it might never get up, go up again. So, there is other forms of, like I told you, some, some of these exchanges like Binance, for example, have affiliate systems, whereby you earn a percentage of the cryptocurrencies of, of those trading that, that's created an account using your link. So, per trading they do, you get a tiny percentage, maybe 10%, 20%, but that offers up to 40%. Um, affiliate bonus to you so when people want to sign up you know are interested in these things you share affiliate link to them and you end a bit of their it's like earning a percentage per the volume of their trading per uh if they are doing if you are people that, that want to go into uh bitcoin trading big time just know that you'll be making small small money from however whatever they trade so another way of making more money is um, accepting Bitcoin and crypto as payment for your services and product, like my book. Yes, people have paid me crypto to buy my Bitcoin book. Watch out for an improved version of that book with loaded information and strategies. Airdrops, another way of any money in cryptocurrency is through what we call airdrops. Airdrop, remember what I said about ICOs? They in SEOs they have a static pool like a preset price over a limited number, limited number of uh, crypto. Now they are saying they are going to offer this so people can invest into them. They do not have an upset that they can offer for free, not like entirely for free. You do want to task to end them, and those tasks are, are usually not hard. Simply uh, liking a post on Facebook, joining the liking a page on Facebook, uh, retweeting a, a tweet on Twitter, commenting or liking a tweet on Twitter, joining a Telegram group or channel, they are always that simple. So people that adhere strictly to the instructions will definitely end the airdrop. And when the coins get listed, you can sell off your freely earned coin on the exchange. To get money in return, so airdrops is like free crypto money. A lot of persons have made money from airdrops. Remember, everything has a strategy to it. So you can also earn more money by providing technical service and products to the market. Yes, like depends, like uh, all these web developers and the likes. Some persons don't even trade, but they earn money from the blockchain technology from this crypto market. They could build exchanges for you and you pay them hundreds of thousands of naira for these things. So you can create a product that meets needs and people pay you for it. Maybe like an app that will make payments easier in crypto and stuff. And you get AN money for it. As crypto hedge funds and investment companies. Yeah, some persons tell you we can help you trade. So you invest your money with them and they help you trade. And you end up a particular percentage at the end of the month or at the end of whenever based on the agreements that you have with these investment companies. I personally I don't as a personal principle I don't do uh investments like portfolio management for anyone. I just I show you I prefer to show you what to do, how to do it, than to collect your money to invest for you. So there's education and mentorship business covering Bitcoin, crypto and blockchain technology. Yes, you can teach people these things if you know them. You can you can guide a startup company. There's many startup companies emerging every day. They can employ you as an advisor on what to do and they, can, they pay you for it. You can manage 
manage people and train them and they pay you for this information they can do blockchain as a career yes you heard me right blockchain as a career in fact my younger brother actually it's uh, he's more of a um, a career person in blockchain than anything else he has a community management you know whereby you always answer you always there to clear people's doubts and confusion confusions and this increases the um the trust of people into that on, on that project on that organization on that platform to know that they can they are reliable now these are like career paths you can take in blockchain if you're not technical if you're not very technical and if you're technical if you're very technical you're looking to demonstrate the basic business understanding of blockchain or you're looking to design and plan blockchain solutions so which means you should be, uh, have the ability to design and plan blockchain solutions you should be if you are in this category you should be looking at uh, for a job in area of uh, blockchain for healthcare professionals and patient empowered empowered blockchain you should also be looking for this thing uh, blockchain solutions um architecture training you know um you can create applications that have good ui ux user-friendly interface that people can use and then um you can also teach the business side of all these things of course the business side of making money anytime there's always a business side of it there's always a business of technology so yeah if you're a good business strategist you can do this remember blockchain is one of the top skills of 2020 one of the top skills of 2020 and you don't have to miss it you don't have to miss this opportunity it is very early you can be a blockchain writer in fact you will be hot kick you can be a blockchain social media manager just managing uh social media for these platforms for these organizations blockchain related organizations and you pay you'll be paid handsomely for it you'll be paid handsomely for it and if you're if you're technical you have to learn like you know, the modern programming language, the coding and the likes of that and stuff so then which means you have to know how to security, smart contracts, you learn solidity, chain code, etc, etc, etc. You can be a blockchain administrator on a specific blockchain platform. Like I said, you can be like a community manager. You can learn how to Act an engineer blockchain network. So there's a whole lot of blockchain career paths that you can take. So um this are it's an example of different career paths you can take. There's a blockchain developer, blockchain quality engineer, blockchain expert, blockchain architect, blockchain legal consult consultant, because you need to know about smart contracts, very important. Uh, blockchain project manager. So you can there are so many if you go on twitter on cryptojobs.com you will see so many jobs you can do so many jobs and they pay you well because it's like hundred dollar is nothing to them hundred dollar in nigeria is like 40k as of today and they're telling they're offering you please can you manage to put it hundred dollar it'd be like in your mind be like ha -ha. like do you know how like how up is like that kind of thing So, um, like I said, you can venture into any um, career in blockchain. So, how do you start? You start by uh, you can start by creating a Luna wallet. You can easily buy buy Bitcoin and Ethereum or Luna wallet. You can just buy and hold. It's predicted as from 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 this this day um, between this day and next year by the end of next year blockchain a uh, bitcoin today is about nine thousand seven hundred dollar it should hit about 100k for one by end of next year that's what the prediction says so what do you what do you think is the best thing to do today the best thing to do today is to buy bitcoin and ethereum ethereum is predicted to reach hit at least two thousand dollars for one and today is still at 200 something dollar so if you need to buy it at this point at two thousand dollars already doing giving you um 100% and more 
So how do you start on Luno? You sign up, you, 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 you go to the website, or you go to the application, sign up for free, you set up a profile, make sure you activate your 2FA, two-factor authentication. It is very important. If you're going to be in this space, you have to be security conscious because people are ready to hack your account. They are very much ready to hack your account. So you need to be ready. You need to security first. No matter the action, even if it's Binance or anything, security first. Always go for security first. Set up your 2FA, your second two-factor authentication. Use your Go Authenticator. Security first. Before you start depositing money and you're buying crypto or it's Bitcoin or Ethereum, but now they even have a XRP and Bitcoin cash on Luno. There are other two kinds of money. So this is a typical interface of Luno wallet. You know, you buy your crypto, you sell it, you can sell it for Naira, you withdraw it back to your account, you fund your Naira wallet, you can send or receive. Bitcoin and Ethereum using this Luno wallet. So for those that are not in country that support Luno, you can have a what we call a Coinbase account. It's another most popular um, account, well, exchange slash. It's almost like Luno, but Luno it's um, easy for us for those of us in this side of the world, Nigeria and the likes, to access these things and help us convert our cash. Our crypto back to cash. So, Binance is one of the exchanges where you can buy, you can trade cryptocurrency. So, how do you start? You visit the website of the exchanges. I'm using Binance as an example. You create an account and you make sure you see secure, thank you. You know, HTTPS, not HTTP. Then you click on register, then you create an account, then you use strong password of the top figures. Enable your two factor authentication very important before you trade on any exchange. Make sure you go to your security settings on that app or website and enable two factor authentication using Go Authenticator, as the case may be. When you are not done setting or security, you now return to deposit your Bitcoin. You can move it from your Luno to the exchange whereby you copy address from the exchange and you go you go to uh, Luno for example you click send you put the address address there and you put in the amount you want to send to that exchange so you can start your trading so when your Bitcoin reflects on the exchange you search for the crypto assets on the, on the exchange app or website this is a typical uh, interface of a uh, a, a Binance app. You can when you click deposit, it gives you an address. You can copy that address and paste it to Luno and send some amount of cryptocurrency here. So this is another part. What, what I showed you was the funds part, the account part. This is a referral ID. Then you see your security. Always go to your security to make sure it's secured very important so then this is like market so if 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 it also enter a trade all you have to come is click search button type in the uh the the name or the initials of that cryptocurrency and to come and remember what you are trading on this exchange so you call btc pair that's your trading bitcoin against other cryptocurrencies or if or you can or you're trading the price against Bitcoin, so which means Bitcoin price influences it and all that. And because you use it, what you're using to buy those coins is you're using Bitcoin as a form of exchange, as a value for exchange. So why should you invest in cryptocurrency? It has worth, it has value. Just look at it. It has made a whole lot of difference in people's lives in the past 10, 11 years. So why are you not doing it yet? Remember, education is important. Find out what is Bitcoin. If you don't know what Bitcoin is, if you don't know how it works, please do not venture into anything. Cryptocurrency has value. It has what? Um, so, it also brings influence to you. 
it's uh, the speculative, speculative value and demand. On the other there's a speculative value around a cryptocurrency. There becomes it's, it's what follows it is demand. People want to buy that coin. People want to. As I said, fundamentals are very analysis, very um, important in cryptocurrency. So volatility and unpredictability, volatility and unpredictability that's actually what you trade. When the market is down, you buy. When the market is up, you sell. And it doesn't make it a particular way today. It changes every time. So what you are trading is the volatility and of the unpredictability of the market to give you profit. So you just strategically position yourself to maximize your profit. Of course, there are smaller gains. There are smaller gains and there's always long-term value for most of the coin. So how do you manage your risk and portfolio on trading? Like, remember what I said, always activate your two-factor authentication. It will save you so you don't look up all money where all your money is gone because someone hacked your account or someone knows how to move money from your phone or system. Now, if you're going to use, if you're going to trade, some people have asked me, uh, how do I, how do I start from, how much amount should I start from? I always say use amount you're willing to lose, but it should be substantial. Why? Because if you can use the amount you're willing to lose, you'll be able to let go of that money and you won't be expecting. You won't be, um, if you have always, so you won't be expecting. So some persons always um, use, try to use small funds to trade. Your small money, if, you, if you're using something like $10 to trade, your 10% is like $1. Which doesn't make sense. So what is always a substantial amount to trade? So when you are saying this for five to ten seven percent of your portfolio per trade, which means well, you're using lots of money. I'm talking about in hundreds of thousands. So five to seven percent of your portfolio will actually make sense. And when you're making ten to five percent of that five percent, it will make sense to you. So you always have to substantial funds. Substantial funds that you're willing to detach yourself emotionally from. Not like if anything happens to it, then you start panicking. Just substantial funds. Always trade with strategy, not emotions. If you use try to use luck, you get wrecked. Like you lose all your money. So it's better for you to miss out on a like ten percent gain than to have a like nine percent loss. So accumulate your gains and don't focus on your loss. So there's some SSGs you can trade on. We have Pot Pit, you have Binance, you have Bitmax, you have Bitcoin, you have Bitrex, you have P2P, P2B. So I've shown you basic interface of a trading exchange, like I showed you earlier on. I showed you earlier on. This is a basic interface of a trading. Uh, platform. This is the app, what the app looks like. So, always use stop limit to reduce your loss when the trade reverses, of course. Like I said, I teach you how to minimize loss and maximize profit. So, you always learn to how to pursue step stop loss. Stop loss. That's a stop limit. You're saying that I expected the coin to go up. But instead of going up, it's to go down. Please help me preserve most of my capitals and close the trade at this particular point. So that's stop limit. Do not FOMO. People do a lot of FOMO. When it says a coin starts going you know, they're rushing and going by. But it could be at that point the coin is already over overbought. Or probably already over oversold and you end up losing your money. So do not Use field and miss out on a trade that would have profited you. That field that fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And do not use form of fear of missing out to miss out on a trade that would have benefited you. So these are different industries as this sector, this blockchain will make huge impact on. So and they're already happening. Banking and payments. JP Morgan the other day took a very bullish action for Bitcoin. Integrated into creating crypto. 
in JP in JP Morgan. Cyber security which is very important. Supply chain management. You'll be able to track goods from the point of production to the point of um, distribution to the consumers. Live online data storage. We have charity or aid organizations now. Now tra charity organizations can now track. If they send their money to Africa now, they can now track how the money was spent, even without even uh, inquiring from anybody. It will be there publicly displayed on the network. We have the legal industry. Yes, this was mass contracts coming to place. Education, crowdfunding, security, voting, and dress. So now, listen to a bit of what my friend and boss in this space has to share with you. The banks, like our other financial institutions in which we used to establish trust to deal. Like for instance, if I want to do transaction from Nigeria to any country, I will have to go to the bank, maybe through Western Union, through MoneyGram, or maybe I use a third party provider in which we have WAVE, wave and some other send and receive money options all these are intermediaries between me and the recipient between the sender and the recipient up to now we have big intermediaries like the banks in which we establish trust in our economy overall yes these people have done pretty good jobs they have done pretty good jobs but we also have to note that they are centralized which means that they can be hacked and increasingly they are most persons have complained about several stuff most times about, about most of these being hacked. Now, most persons have, uh, have complained several times about most of these stuff being hacked. But with the blockchain technology, blockchain technology is unhackable. It cannot be hacked. It, can, is, it cannot be hacked. It cannot be hacked. I guess the coin I just called now is on profits on BitMEX. The coin I just called right now, I'm seeing from my from my trade, I'm seeing 20% profit right now. Can you see that? In less than 20 in less than 10 minutes, I call this coin. It's already on profit, 20% profit. From my entering point, if you use cross, from my entering point, it's already 20% profit. So you could see that you can make a lot of profits. You can make good profits of this technology. You can make good profits of this technology. Most persons don't know. Most persons are ignorant of it. If you learn how to trade, if you learn how to do things with Bitcoin, if you learn how to do things with the technology, mind me, there is not you unstoppable. There is no government. You will live beyond your country economy. Hello, I guess you can see my screen. Of what I'm talking about. I guess you can see my screen. Okay. You will definitely live. No. You will definitely live beyond any country economy. You will definitely live beyond any country economy. So this is one of the things I'm talking about. But I said that this technology is a very impactful technology is a very impactful technology now up to today we still rely on big intermediaries like banks middlemen to establish trust overall they have done pretty good jobs but they are they are growing problems they can be hacked and they are centralized in which they slow things down in in the sense that it takes money hours days or weeks to move from point a to point b for instance if i want to send money from Nigeria to another country, it will take days, weeks before that funds can be able to reach to the to the recipient. But with the blockchain technology, with Bitcoin, with the blockchain technology powering Bitcoin, powering Bitcoin as a pioneer of it, you can send and receive money from anyone instantly. You can send and receive money from anybody all over the world. The blockchain is the most promising technology of the future. Like I have explained this yesterday, but for the facts of people that are joining today, I just have to do this slide to explain it again. I said that it is the promising technology of the future. It's a distributed ledger that underlines cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and provides a way of recording and transferring data that are safe, 
transparent, auditable, and resistant to outages. Now, for for this technology, it has a driving force behind the next generation of the internet. Now, it is being said that back then, that any business that is not on the internet will be taken serious, right? Now, in the next few years to come, in the next three to four years to come, any business that does not have any blockchain representation, any business, any para starter, any work that does not have any blockchain representation that is not on the blockchain will be taken serious. Most companies right now are moving into the blockchain. Most companies, most countries are even Dubai. This 2020, Dubai has put its government document on the blockchain. Dubai has put its government document seriously on the blockchain. Now, most countries have, have adopted this technology. Most countries have adopted this technology and they are doing well with it. And they are doing well definitely with it. They are doing well definitely with it. So, like I said, that the blockchain has ways to make organizations and users of things to be transparent. I can't send money to you right now. I, I can't send $100,000 to you right now. And tomorrow, I'll start claiming that I sent more than that. Or I send the funds to you, and tomorrow you claim you don't receive that. No, everything is made available on the blockchain. You don't need to wait for you to go to the bank the next day. If it's weekend for you to wait till Monday before you can be able to go to the bank to start tracking the transaction. No, everything, if, if it's on the blockchain, everything is made available. So that's why I keep on saying that the blockchain has a way to make things, organization, para starters, a lot of things, users, transparent, democratic, decentralized, efficient, and secured. Remember what I said yesterday, that for the past 10 years, you can never hear a day that the blockchain technology has been hacked. Bitcoin, as the pioneer of this, has never been hacked for any single day. So, you heard it from my friend and crypto boss, Ifai S. Onwekini, from one of his um, one of his online trading training that he did. So, this is very important. You need to take blockchain technology very important, not just for yourself, not just to, you just it's it's good to see there's a, a way to make lots of money, but. To make your making us of money is tied to the right information, it's tied to the right knowledge, it's tied. You need to start seeing the same way that it's, this uh, period has exposed so many things and make it very evident that being online is very important, it's very vital. Online presence is very vital. So, very soon, the blockchain is going to be very vital to everything that you're doing. So, right now, you're still like an early adopter. Of this technology so why don't you take your free time and learn about it ask your questions there are lots and lots of resources out there for you to make use of and all and the likes of what are always available to answer your questions but you know it's always important to join a dedicated community do you understand if you see value you should be able to do the necessary things to get that value so, why should you get involved in blockchain? You know, we talked about why you should get involved with crypto trading and the rest. Disruptive potential. Come on. It's already... Um, look at this, for example. In education, it's going to make uh, certification very legit. Since you can't change anything on the blockchain. You know, most of us, when we want to change schools, we have to request for our transcript from our various schools and they don't, have to, they don't want to have to give it to us directly. So... So, uh, you have to do all this like transporting to yourself to school and blah blah blah. But in this scenario, now the sc your school puts your results on the blockchain, you don't have to travel to anywhere. All your, your new school has to do is to access your information on the blockchain, knowing that nobody can or would have tampered with it, even in the voting system. It can, it is this blockchain is disrupting every system and process as you know of data storage supply chain the health system it's making everything different different organizations around the world are already employing different aspects of this technology to make their processes better banks outside the country look at jp morgan for example look at um barclays bank for example even even i think the u.s defense too 
worldwide worldwide they've already started looking to the blockchain and start looking at how can it make our processes better safer and able to deliver much more than we used to what's on value career opportunities you can do so many things with the blockchain without literally even trading you can you can write and get paid so to them paying you hundred dollars is nothing but hundred dollars is 40k it's 40,000 naira in Nigeria, but they're telling you, oh, they're telling you, oh, please, I need manage this. So how much that is. I know how much I earn at home. I know how much my younger brother earns just by doing what exactly. One eighteen or two online. And that's all. From the comfort of your house, and if you don't even need a system. You need just a smartphone to do these things. So it's, it's a very good extra stream of income. Smart and automated processes, like the smart contracts now. You know, it, it, it gives you leverage. You'll be able to acquire and hold properties and nobody's going to come, come tomorrow and start telling you that your, your document is not legit and all that. You understand the, 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 on the uh, system behind smart contracts. The legal people, the lawyers are already keen into this. Because very soon, what you're doing now might become irrelevant. People that are relevant will be those that know how to position themselves well to take advantage of this uh, technology immutability that is you cannot reverse anything any transaction you've already done is done you can't change anything on it you can't change anything on the network it's done it's done it's fixed it's permanent you can't edit you can't change transparency is very transparent on the network you see it there everything you know like everything is peer to peer on the network you can track your transactions Using transaction IDs and all. Then decentralization. There's no central government. There's no central control. There's no government saying we are the ones in charge of blockchain technology. It's power back to the people. Power is self so self regulated that it's power back to the people. Nobody is in control. This thing. Of course, there's something we we'll call fifty one percent attack, but it hardly happens. It cannot even not hardly. It cannot even happen because it's almost impossible to take over, take full control of the blockchain network. Consensus mechanisms, of course, we have big consensus mechanisms that uh, uh, processes by which some of these things function, like the one I explained earlier, the proof of work, the proof of stake, and the likes. You know, over time, these technologies become easy and simple and stuff like that. Of course, with my um, dedicated community, I teach, I teach them all these things. I teach them what these terms are, what these technologies are. Don't expect this is not the get rich free scheme. You get rich, you get rich over time, but not quickly. Of course, for you to be able to make hundreds of percentage in a trade, you already have some kind of support. Either the power of information, the power of fundamentals, the power of strategy. There should be something already guiding you for you to say, yes, I made four hundred percent, five hundred percent from this trade. It, it, it doesn't happen by luck. There is something, information, fundamentals, knowledge, strategy. There should be, there must have been something that is that is backing your ability to make five hundred, one thousand percent from a trade. So, is it possible to make sharp money? But yes, but then there are things backing it up already. You don't wake up for money and you hit that kind of percentages in your trade. So there's a lot of reason for you to engage in blockchain. There's a whole lot of reason. It might seem a lot whole mind boggling and all. I've always there because personally I don't even like mathematics. So when I saw this, they were like, oh my god, it's so so mind boggling and then and, 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 and my brother was already in this space long before me. But I sat down like, okay, fine. My you know, my, my friend and my friend and boss, if I me, always you know, kept encouraging and encouraging and like see, 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 pointing out facts and all. And I had a bit interest. So Observation and interest will really, really help you in this thing. So, like what something I call always do your like always do your own research. That is the your is a term we have in crypto in the crypto um, environment. Always do your always do your own research. No matter what happens, no matter what anybody tells you, this app there's an app or website called Coin Market Cap. That's why I'm, I'm sharing this with you. All the cryptocurrencies that, that are available, listed on an exchange, is in this website or this application. You can install it. You can read up on anything. You want to know more about Bitcoin? Install that app. Click on Bitcoin. You see information. You see the charts. You see how 
we could have done over all time history, all time charts. So every information that you need to start up on, every technical documentation on the cryptocurrencies are on this website and app. So you are seeing these things for yourself, you are reading them up for yourself. Do your own research, it's very important. You are in charge of your financial decisions. Try to be in charge of your financial decisions when it comes to crypto trading and uh, monetizing cryptocurrency. This is, a bit, this is the all time Bitcoin chart. Like, see, if you look at this chart now, how it was from zero, zero, less than zero dollar, it went up about a little bit above zero dollar, then it went up, went up, went up, went up, hit 20k. That this, this, should, this should be around 2017. Then it came down again, came down again now to this point where it is now, where it's uh, about just barely touching just it just crossed it cost ten thousand during that during that, that time and it's hoping we're hoping it's going to cross 20 k and i hit 100k so this is an all-time chart of bitcoin so now i've been able to take you through what is bitcoin what is cryptocurrency show you that it's not a get rich free scheme it's not another Ponzi scheme it's, not, it's just technology the same way you take your internet i, I remember when at the, at the um internet came into being internet emerged people give it all manner of tags devilish and blah 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 over time people start seeing it as a tool that they need for your research the internet and all these emerging technologies are uh the advantage you have in this age imagine what people went through in the time of the Spanish flu and other pa pandemic that happened without the benefit of the internet. And now you can even, you can even, you know, uh, different, the media and all manner, they are making money from trying to enter, to keep you entertained at home while you're during the lockdown. Find a way to creatively keep yourself engaged and busy during the lockdown. So, do you want to learn how to trade? Do you want to learn get information on what kind of uh, coins to invest in? Do you know what? You can join my uh, trading platform where I give weekly coaching and guide and answer, answer your questions. I give you signals on how to trade. I give you coins to buy and stuff, stuff, stuff. You can send a message. What's that message to me using this number? Uh, plus 234-705-778-5083. Now, you need to join because you need to see now as really easily. Of course, like, you need someone to have already done the mathematics for you and just telling you you can buy from here and sell at this point. You need to write crypto updates on crypto opportunities, even if you don't want to. I always fish look for opportunities that can end your cash or careers in this space and, and I always share it. Remember, I'm all about value first. So, you need a guide on how to make profits. Like I can show you how to take out profit from your trade while maintaining, still maintaining your capital in that trade. You need to know how to stay safe in the market, how to maximize profits and minimize your loss. So you can always send me an email to admin at victoriobaka.com.ng or victoriobaka24 at gmail.com. I believe that you've gotten lots of value from this webinar. So you can leave me a feedback. At, uh, send a feedback to any of these emails. You can leave your questions in the chat box, and um, I will attend to them on the WhatsApp group. On the WhatsApp group, I know you have lots of questions already. You know you'll be dropping them, you'll be dropping them, you'll be dropping them, dropping them. But also, if you're dropping your, if you're dropping, drop your uh, WhatsApp number alongside your questions, so that I will leave your answers on the group, add you to the free group. I know, but remember, you need to join a dedicated community. Or if you're already part of a dedicated community, you need to stay there. You need to give yourself time to learn. Always make use money you can afford to lose. So that it can help you manage your emotions better and you can trade with logic, not emotionally clinging to the money and you end up losing the funds. So, there are a whole lot, a whole lot in this space that you can benefit from. 
so I hope this was uh, this was beneficial to you. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you, see, you uh, were able to see the potentials in this space. There's a whole lot more. There's a whole lot more. Bitcoin is simply money has money evolved to this what you can see. You don't have to see it or touch it. It is evolved to digital for you, for you to be able to give you value. Thank you very much. I um, steal your value delivery strategies. I hope you look forward to more webinars like this to show you value you can get, value you can earn in these days and time. Thank you very much for your time. Waiting for your questions.